What is up guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today and what I have for you guys is some news. So this morning we got a predecessor report. We got a blog post about Ansel. So I'm just going to jump right into this. All right. Uh, for those of you that care at the end of the video, I'm going to go over my thoughts on Wraith because Wraith also got announced. We got a trailer. We'll go over the trailer. I'll go over my thoughts at the end. But this is obviously the more pressing matter. We got a blog post about console. Now, we were supposed to get this at the end of last week, and we didn't get it. They delayed it. It is now Wednesday, and uh, we finally got the post. So because they delayed it, people were like, well, you know, I don't think we're getting console on the 24th, which is the next big patch, because, you know, they probably would have told us already. So we get some more details in this. I'm not going to read this word for word. So if you guys want to read it, uh, the link is in their Discord. I will put a link in the uh, description down below, or you guys can pause and read it as we go along. So uh, basically, they said, hey, we delayed the blog post. Very cool. PlayStation release. So for those of you that don't know, their console is going to be split into PlayStation and Xbox. PlayStation will be coming first, and Xbox will be coming later. So that is confirmed. PlayStation, PS4, and PS5 are both going to be coming before Xbox. So Xbox gamers, I apologize. Sorry for your loss. Uh, as for this, basically, they said they were hoping to give us good news last week, and then they were unable to. They said they were aiming to release Predecessor in early November. So that would have been sweet. Not going to happen. Basically, we talked about this with Ace on the Predcast a couple months ago about how you submit a game to PlayStation, basically. So you have to have your game kind of ready and then you submit it to PlayStation and they basically say yay or nay on your game. You know, if they say nay, then they're going to give you a checklist of things you need to update slash fix in your game before it can go to PlayStation. And it sounds like it's very common to fail that the first time, the second time, you know, that kind of thing because it's very hard to get a game on PlayStation. That's understandable. It sounds like they failed it again, and they were expecting to pass it. So that's what it sounds like to me. That's kind of what I grasp from this, that they thought they were going to pass it this time, and they unfortunately did not. So because of this, um, they basically say that, uh, here it is, if all goes well, we're currently now targeting December as our PlayStation launch month. So if it is in December, right, that is, let's see, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there is a patch on December 5th um, will be a content patch. And then there is another patch on the 26th, um, assuming that their patch cycle stays the same. Those are the two patches that will be in the month of December. So, you know, one of those is going to potentially have console. I don't, they, you know, they don't say which, they're just targeting December as the month. Obviously, the fifth would make more sense because that is already going to, supposed to be a content patch. That will be the hero after Wraith. Um, I'd love it on the fifth. The 26th is very, very late. So hopefully we get it sooner than that. But the, the official news is that console has been delayed again. They are still doing their best to get it out in, you know, early season three is what they had said. But they are, I will say that they are very transparent in this blog post. I think that is a good thing. They get it. They get a plus from me on that. They are saying basically this is our goal is to get it out in December. It might not happen. That they're, they're very honest about it. Ideally sooner than December potentially later and they say stuff like this a couple times throughout this blog post of basically like listen like we're trying we're doing what we can but if we you know if we keep getting denied to get our game on pre on playstation you know it's just it's it's something there are some things that are kind of out of their control that they're just kind of being more upfront about and i i like that, that, that that's a that's a plus from me that gets a, a plus one because they are being honest about this and i and i i like that it's obviously bad news but they're being honest about it. So I like that. So again, you guys can pause and read this if you guys want, but basically they're saying, hopefully we can still get it out early season three. Maybe we don't. Uh, they are working on the new website as well. 
Um, so this is something that they're working on before console because they want people to have like a real website to go to. If you've been to their website recently, it's not very good. <laughs> it's very, very basic. It doesn't have any of the heroes on it, anything like that. So they, yeah, getting a new website out, I think that's a good choice. Other than that, so they talk about hero affinity a little bit. Here's some of the skins that we've been teased. Uh, FaZe, Drongo, Sev, and Rev all got teased on their socials. And since then, I believe we have seen Bellica and Fang Mao from a couple of the community content creators uh, have been have shared them themselves. So that they aren't in these blog posts, but if you go check Twitter, they're all over Twitter. Um, the, uh, both of those skins look good. Fang Mao one is my favorite so far. It, it at least has the best art on it. Um, other than that, they, yeah, they talk about Steam bundles a little bit, and then they talk about Wraith a little bit. So. Wraith is, do they have the video linked here? No, all right, I'll pull up the video real quick. But Wraith is the next hero. Wraith releases on October the 24th, and he is a carry. He is listed as a carry, and he is fairly cool. So here's the trailer. Uh, the trailer is fine. He's invis. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, the invis is one of those things that, like, I don't dislike that it's in the game necessarily, but um, I would have preferred it to not be in the game. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, he looks good. The trailer sounds good. I think the trailer is fine. Um, it's nothing insane. I only... Okay, one sec. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to mention this because this is, this is one gripe that I have with this trailer. All that the trailer is is Wraith running around and executing people with Vanquisher, and I just think it's funny. I think they, they just, there's just nothing else there, which I, I think that's funny. Um, but uh, other than that, yes, uh, Wraith looks fine. We can look at his abilities. There's his rewind. Um, so here, one sec. Let's just let's just go to this last clip. We'll look at his abilities. So his uh, let's see, where are they? Show me your abilities. Okay, so he has the first thing you can notice is he's got this weird ward slot over here. Um, this is, I'm, you know, people, you see him throw something out at the beginning of the video. This is like a riff on his old Q, his old ward that he threw down. This is like a little bit of a riff on that. It's not quite the same, but it's kind of functionally the same, but it's also not an ability. I think that's cool. Other than that, he has his snipe, his right click is, it seems to be the exact same as it was in Paragon. It's just a snipe. Um, if it does extra stuff, I don't know. I didn't watch it that closely. Um, other than that, his, it seems like his E is invisibility of some kind, which is again, fine. I don't necessarily mind. I'm glad that his invisibility is not his ultimate because I think that sound like that. I just don't think that was well designed in Paragon. Like having team invis on an ultimate just feels really, uh, it feels really weird. It feels very wonky. It's like, uh, it's, uh, cheesy. That, that's the word I'm looking for. Other than that, his Q, he throws out at some point in here. Like right here, he throws it. And it looks like... Here, I'll slow this down a little bit. It looks like it's uh, just like a grenade of some kind. It looks like it's a grenade of some kind. So he tosses it out. You can see it explode. It kind of misses, but still hits that guy and explodes behind him. Uh, that's fine. His rewind is his ultimate. Now, notably, they do not show him cast his ultimate in this clip. This clip starts after he's already cast his ultimate on this guy. So, you know, the question is, how is the ultimate cast? Well, it's for those of you that, you know, no predecessor, this is going to be point and click. It is going to be a lock on. And I hate that. That's, that's my biggest gripe with the kit, is that they're going to make Rewind a lock-on. I really think that a CC... Like, this is going to be the best crowd control in the game. And I really don't think that it should be lock-on. That's just my opinion. I don't know if any of you agree with me. Again, that's, that's just me. I really don't think this should be lock-on. I think this would be even... I, th I think the better way to do this, even, would be to make this like a lobbed grenade. And even let it hit multiple people, but make it, like, slow. So, like, if you hit someone with it, it's sick. Very cool. You just, you just got them, you just hit them with the strongest CC in the game. If you, if you miss or they dodge it, then that's also sick, right? Uh, this being point and click lock on, I don't really like that. 
other than that, Wraith's kit looks fine. Uh, is he going to be a good carry, or is he going to end up being like a mid laner again? Who knows? It'll depend on what his scalings look like and what his damage looks like, all that kind of stuff. I, I you know, it's just who knows? Who knows? Um, he he is currently able to be unlocked in the game. You can you can start your Wraith contract thing in the game already, so that you can unlock him before he comes out on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, other than that, the big news for the day is console. So. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know you guys' thoughts on console down below you know how do you guys feel about it being de de delayed you know i'm a, i'm a pc gamer so i've already been playing the game for the last 10 months how do you guys feel about it i'm, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think so uh yeah let me know down below in the comments other than that guys that's going to be it for me today just wanted to get you guys a news video out and i've been asked my thoughts on wraith a lot so figured i'd get those out of the way in the same place Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, etc. But that's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I've been Pinzo. This video is done -zo. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.